Now the running belt has become one of my most essential items of running kit and I pretty much use one on every run just to carry my mobile phone and a small soft flask of water. Over the years I've run with lots of different types of belt and I've tested and reviewed quite a few different brands on the channel. However, a lot of you guys have been asking for me to test out the trail running reflex belt from Instinct. Now we always want to bring you sort of content that you guys want to watch. So. I've been testing out the belt over the last couple of weeks, so let's dive into the video and find out how it's performed. Welcome back folks, I hope you are all fit and well out there and thanks for joining us for another video. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. Now if you have been enjoying the content on the channel and finding it helpful then why not consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Really simple to do just by clicking on that little red box down there in the corner and it is completely free but it is a big help. I've also got to give a big shout out to Lawrence, a viewer, because he's actually the guy that sent me this belt. So he sent the Instinct belt through so that I could test and review it on the channel. So big thanks, Lawrence. It's really appreciated. OK, so before we get stuck into how it performed, let's give you a little bit more information about the Instinct belt. So firstly, it retails in the UK for around about £40 and the construction of it is like a banded belt design. So. Basically, it is a tube of material, stretchy material that you step into and then you pull it up around your waist. So there's no sort of adjustment worked in. They come in specific sizes. So you can pick the belt up in an extra small, a small, a medium, a large, an extra large and a double XL. When it comes to storage, you are kind of spoilt for choice because we've literally got pockets the whole way round the belt and six in total. So on the front, you get a double pocket setup. So we've got a good size pocket internally. And then on the outside of the belt, again, another good stretchy pocket, perfect for carrying, say, a 500 mil soft flask. On either side of the belt, we've got a smaller segregated pocket and then flipping it around to the back, again, we've got that double pocket system. So a really good size pocket internally. And then on the outside of the belt, we've got this tubular pocket. So perfect for stowing away a waterproof jacket or a lightweight running jacket, but it's also got some substantial rubber grippers inside. So it doubles up as a pole carrying system. Something that I love to have on my running belts is a race bib holder. So I'm glad to see the guys from Instinct have worked one into the Reflex belt. Uh, also, we get a real handy tab on each pocket. So making it a bit easy to access on the move and a real good finishing touch is that those tabs are reflective. So you're going to get a good level of high vis from the belt for safer nighttime running. So there's a little bit of information about the construction of the belt and the features that it comes with. But if you've ever watched any of our previous running belt reviews here on the channel, then you'll know all about the famous Run For Adventure bounce test. Now, I think the last time we featured this test, there was maybe a few items of kit that we forgot to add to the belt. And luckily, you guys highlighted that for us. So what that's led to is us coming up with a sort of official kit list that we're going to use every time we run a bounce test. So it's going to be a lot more consistent and it can give us some proper sort of scientific feedback. So let's run you guys through the kit list. First up is going to be one 500 mil soft flask filled with water. I'm also going to have two precision fuel and hydration gels, one lightweight running jacket, a pair of running gloves, a small head torch, and then finally my mobile phone. So I'm just going to go away and gather all that kit up and then let the fun and games begin. So we'll see you guys outside. You can probably tell that it's not very pleasant out here today and winter is definitely settling in here in the UK. So let's get the belt fully loaded with kit and let's get bouncing. the bounce test all completed and it felt like the trail running reflex belt from instinct performed really well 
very little movement, no bounce, even with all that kit and all that weight in there. So let's get back to the studio and break down in a bit more detail how the belts performed over the last couple of weeks. So the Instinct belt passed the bounce test with flying colours, but let's wrap this video up with a quick conclusion. And first of all, uh, really impressed with the construction of the belt. All the seams, all the stitching is finished off really well. And I'm also a big fan of the fabric that's been used. Uh, one, it's nice and soft to touch, so I've had no issues with irritation or rubbing. Also, it is very stretchy, really elasticated, but most importantly, I've found the belt nice and breathable, even on the front and the back where you've got that double pocket system and I think they've managed to pull that off because they've worked in all these tiny small perforations all the way around the belt and I think that really helps when it comes to airflow. Having the pole carrying system as a tubular pocket is a great idea and I personally think it works better than your more sort of traditional looped carrying system that you get on most belts. The poles have felt super secure in there even when I'm moving at speed and then you've got those real substantial rubber grippers internally so there's been very little movement at all and then you've got the added bonus of having that extra bit of storage space if you're not carrying any poles. And finally, two features that I always look for in my running belts, and one of them is having big pull tabs on the pockets. Uh, in the past, I've run in some belts that don't have pull tabs or straps or anything, and it makes it super difficult to access those pockets on the move. And the other thing being uh, a system to hold your race number, because I tend to always race, whether it be a short trail race, up to road marathon with a belt on, to carry some gels and some hydration. So having a, a race number hold Holder, saves me sticking safety pins through my nice technical running kit, which I've never been a fan of. So you can see it really has been a positive experience running in the trail running reflex belt from Instinct. Uh, it really has performed well, and I would say it's right up there with some of the best running belts that I've ever tested. So I can see why you guys kept reaching out to me and telling me to test one out on the channel. Uh, the only slight negative thing I can say about it is when it comes down to sizing. So I've got a medium belt here on the website, on the Instinct size chart, it says this is a sort of 78 to 86 centimeters or a 31 to 34 inch waist. Now I'm a 32 to 33 inch waist, so in theory, this should be the perfect fit, but I personally think it's a little bit too tight. Now, obviously, if you are using a sort of belt system like this, that banded system, you do want a nice snug fit because that's obviously gonna stop it slipping up and down when it's fully loaded with kit and it's gonna keep everything nice and secure. However, you don't want it overly tight either because that really can lead to some issues if you're wearing it for long periods of time. So I do think it sizes up quite small and I would probably have been better off in the large belt. And funnily enough, the reason Lawrence sent this to me is because he's exactly the same way size as me and he found it a little bit too tight as well. So uh, if you are thinking of purchasing one of the Instinct belts, go and check out their sizing chart. If it says you're a small, maybe go up to a medium. If it says you're a medium, maybe go up to a large. But that really is kind of the only negative feedback I've got about the belt because I really have enjoyed using this to run with and I just think it's a really well constructed, super functional quality running belt. So there you have it guys, we have finally tested out the Instinct Trail Running Reflex Belt and thoroughly enjoyed the whole process. So if you are in the market for a new running belt, whether you're upgrading your existing one or you want to purchase your first ever running belt, then I really would check out the Instinct Belt in a bit more detail. So I've left a link in the description to their website so you can do just that. Also, we've got some other really handy running belt content on the channel. So I'll link all of those videos in in the description as well. Don't forget guys, if you have found this video helpful to like, comment, share and subscribe, but also give that little bell icon a click because then you'll be notified when we upload any new exciting running content. But until next time guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all your wonderful support. We'll be back here very soon. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. Welcome back folks. Hope you are all fit and well out there and something else six in total. So on the front, we've got a double pocket setup. So you've got a good sized internal pocket and then outer side and then on top. So there you have it guys. Finally, we have tested and reviewed the instinct, the instinct, 
We've tested and reviewed the instinct reflex belt. Mm. 